we got this field mowed. There's about uh, 20 acres or so of hay here. Uh, it took just under four hours, probably about three hours and 45 minutes with the crone, this mower, M8540 Kubota. Easy cut 320. All right, we mowed hay yesterday. Now it's time to go flip it over with a tether. So this is a older 752 John Deere manual folding tether. Um, I've got it folded up so I can go down the road with it without taking out anything. It's a four basket. We'll spread it out. It covers about an 18 foot working width, which should cover two swaths with the hay mower, which is about a 10 foot mower. Uh, so we should be able to kick up two of them at a time and let's go get it knocked out so split enjoys riding on the side by side but this is her first time in the tractor so this is all new for her but uh the more she can get out and about do all kinds of things and you guys do the same at home take your dogs with you you got to go work around on the tractor if you got a cab tractor throw the dog in there and take off it'll just make a, a more well-rounded dog later on as they get older Alright, we've made it to the hay field here. So we mowed it yesterday. It's already looking pretty good and dry. A lot of bleaching already though. Um, got the hay tether unfolded here. And this thing, how it unfolds is, you got a, what's supposed to be a knob right here. And this uh, pin slides back into this housing and you can fold it up along here and it pins again right here when it's collapsed for transport mode. And uh, we got the wheels all angled correctly. So it lifts the tether up and we got it tilted forward <coughs> to where it barely touches the ground but doesn't get into the dirt and it'll grab all that hay and flip it over for us so it'll dry out and we can get it bailed up without having to worry about it getting hot and spoiling or catching on fire. So we're going to get started. Split's taking a break after a little nervous ride over here. We'll get her loaded back up in the tractor and get it knocked out. Alright, so... You can see the defined swaths from the lift this up, from the mower, and we just split those right down the middle, and then the tether grabs each one and, and kind of stirs it up. You can see what the tether does to it right beside of us here, and here it is in action. So if I just stay right in the middle of them, the two baskets on the right grab the right swath, and the two baskets on the left grab the left swath, and they kind of break the stems up and flip it over to allow it to dry out. So we, we gotta get the hay good and dry before we bale it up or else it'll mold or rot. And, uh, or even worse, if you put it in a barn wet, it could, it could heat up and catch on fire, burn the whole hay barn down. So there's the before, we're gonna get All right, it's time to bale hay. So we got the tractor hooked up to the round baler. Um, this thing picks up the hay, rolls it up into a nice tight round bale, and got everything hooked up and ready to rock and roll. And we got an issue. So we've got a blown out uh, seals on one of the lift gate cylinders, and that holds tension on the round bale and everything. Um, really puts us in a bind because we got to get the hay up before it rains on Thursday or else it's all gone to waste. So we'll uh, keep you guys updated. All right, so we figured out what the problem was. Bad O-ring in the, in the hydraulic lift cylinder. Ran down to Five Rivers Hydraulics in Jefferson City, Tennessee. And these guys are awesome. They had this thing broke down, fixed back, and ready for me to go to the hay field in less than 20 minutes. So, well, I appreciate you guys. All right, got the cylinder installed back on the baler for the lift gate. Got everything loaded up, got a few tools. Ran over my uh, little uh, toolbox I usually take with me, so that's unfortunate, but Headed to the hay field, see if we can get this knocked out. So here's our bell monitor. This tells me how level the bell is across. We want the left side and the right side to be even. 
good windrows help with that, which is uh, made by a rake. And I'll show you guys the rake here in a second. So here's what it looks like from in the cab while we're rolling up the hay. That's an old 1997 model John Deere 456 round baler. It bells a four foot wide by a five foot tall round bell. And it's twine tie only. You gotta tie it manually with a hydraulic uh, remote here. So it takes a little bit longer, but it's a good old baler. So this is the field after it's been tedded, you know, kind of flipped over and dried out. And now it's ready to rake up. We'll rake it up into windrows. And uh, my brother is on the smaller tractor uh, with the rake right now. Get a video of him coming through here and that's what it looks like after. That's a model 74 John Deere rake. Takes about a nine foot swipe there so a roller bar rake with a dolly on the front swiveled up a uh, dolly wheel on the front so yeah this right here is ready to bail up next all right we got all of our hay up at the uh, main hay field rolled up uh, really proud to say that we got let's see here 94 rolls off of about 20 acres and no shear pins were harmed in the making of that 94 rolls of hay so pretty happy about that nice not bad for a uh, 25 year old round baler still doing a good job <laughs> 